need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV. Delighted to be joined here at Bowling Alley, of all places, by Mr. Pierce O'Leary. Um, I should have turned the camera on earlier, because earlier, I would have caught you being vain and getting the light and then get, getting them angry. Yeah, yeah, you should have, yeah. As soon as that light came on, the you had to come out. <laughs> feeling yourself today? Yeah, I feel really good, mate. Yeah, I feel fantastic. Uh, Wednesday, press conference tomorrow, Wayne and Friday. Boy, Saturday, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, you must be buzzing to get in the ring. Um, Obviously, Belfast was fantastic for you last time out, but you're a fighting man and you fought one round in a professional ring this year. I know you probably want to get in there and just, just throw some hands. Yeah, listen, um, Belfast was fantastic. Um, it was great, great performance. The atmosphere was fantastic. Unbelievable atmosphere. And listen, I was, I was back in the gym that Monday, so I was ready to go again. Yeah. From the few times we've spoke, I feel like it's always been like that with you. You don't particularly want to take time out you know where you want to get to. And if you put the work in, you're going to get there. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. You just got to keep on top of it, stay on top of it. But the plan was we were going to be back out, but it was going to be late July. So um, I was back to the gym Monday, and then obviously I got pushed back to now. So I guess you can't complain. Um, had a great camp, so everything's going well. Yeah, not a massive card here at Wembley Arena. Um, talk to you about Kane Gardner, obviously, coming off the back of his biggest win of his career against Conor Walker, and we just saw what Conor done to Cyrus Pattinson, so there is a good fight there in Kane. Um, I know you'll be confident, but just talk to you about Kane and what sort of things you think he'll bring. Um, to be honest with you, I'm, I haven't seen Aunt uh, of uh, Kane. Just a few little clips. Listen, I, I don't deal, I don't look at anyone. I just let me coach the other, and uh, let him come up with a game plan and training camp, and we'll, we'll, just, we'll just nail it. Um, we've been working on a lot in training camp, so it's all about repetitions that we've been doing. It was fantastic, everything's gone quite good. So, yeah, listen, I'm not overlooking Kane either. Uh, I'm expecting 10 gorilla hard rounds, but uh, once we bring the A game, I don't think it'll go the distance. Is the thinking behind you not doing too much watching of your opponent because you're kind of focusing on yourself, I guess, and you kind of don't want to get caught up in, in what he's doing? Is that kind of your thinking then? Just focus on yourself. Every day I want to be one more percent better. So if I can deal with that rather than use my energy to look at someone else, which is pointless, do you know what I mean? Um, because at the end of the day, it could bring a different, different uh, game plan to the ring. And then you have to focus on something. So listen, I'd rather just focus on myself, do my thing. I've been doing it so long in the amateurs now and uh, hasn't done me so hasn't done me so bad. So yeah, listen, that's what it's all about. Just going go out there, uh, believe in yourself, believe in your hard work and your, and your team and then go and smash it. Obviously, that WBC belt, we know they hold so much weight in terms of rankings and where you're eventually going to want to get to. Um, a win here would be the second defence of the belt. Have you got any wind of perhaps where that might take you, if it might take you into the top 20, the top 15, or, or kind of where you'd be if you were to beat Ken Gardner? Um, I'm not quite sure. I haven't spoke about that yet, but that's the game plan. Um, we, want to, we want to keep on pushing up the ranks. Um, so, yeah, listen, I, I, hope, I hope you put the top 15. Because yeah, I know for you, to get the, the, the end goals world titles it's nothing else you don't want to settle for anything else you want to be a world champion and that's the bottom line yeah that's it exactly 100% listen at the end of the day we fight tomorrow for a world title do you know what I mean but my team wouldn't let me so I've got to, I've got to be smart I've be, and I've got to stay patient and if you, can, if you can master patience you can master anything so you just need to stay calm cool collective believe in yourself keep working hard and take each day as it comes you never know, Regis might come knocking or something. Um, yeah, we can't wait to see you in action on, on Saturday night. Just a quick one, I've got to talk about the main event. Um, devastating defeat last time for Joe, the manner of the defeat as well. How do you see the rematch going this time? I just said it there in the last interview, if, if, if Joyce didn't change anything in, in his training camp, it'd be the same outcome. Maybe, I don't know, it, it may be longer than the rounds. I'm not sure, but if he did change, I think, um, I think Joyce will give him serious trouble. To not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.